I saw where someone that had used um, safety pins to make their springs and it was for a, like a G scale layout. And um, I guess there's something different about, different about those big safety pins and the little brass pins because they kept breaking when I tried to bend them. So anyway, I started with some piano wire. This is um, O20 music wire. Stock 49 K&S Precision Metals. And I got that at Riverside Hobbies in um, Sebastian, um, Florida. So um, I was talking before. So this is one of the springs I made. So I mentioned before how I got this working here. Now when I mentioned about connecting... The ground throw I mentioned that the handle would be straight up vertical but before you put the before you can hook it up you got to make sure that your points are centered like that so that when the handle is vertical when it goes one way it'll go to the uh, cur uh, turnout and switch it the other way and it'll continue straight well that's what straight that's the turnout so anyway I took um, a piece of wire. Where did I lose my spring at? It's around here somewhere. I just had it. I want to point out that these two switches, this first one I showed you and then the second one that I made, um, these are the, what are they, how you pronounce that? Shino, Shara, Shino, Hara? switches and this other switch I have here this Y is actually an atlas and the one problem I found is that the hole right here is much larger than the others so what I had to do was I had to take a piece of styrene rod and glue it inside the hole and trim it down and then drill a fresh hole for my V spring I created. So this switch will need some cleaning up before I actually use it, but you can see that I've got the snap that I needed. And this is how far those pieces from the spring extend down. Now I've heard, heard one person said that they keep this end long and they cut this short and when they put the track in place. After it's all in place, then they put that spring on. And I guess this longer piece here helps keep the spring in place and keeps it stronger. So, but by putting that styrene in there and drilling a fresh hole, I actually think this switch has um, better snap and is more solid than those other two switches I just showed. And as I mentioned before, I'll take my other ground throws and I'll put them in the vertical position like this. And that's not quite centered. That's not quite right. But I'll make sure that this is a little more centered when I fasten the ground throw on so that I have um, equal distance of throw either way for the switch.